A home-cooked meal can stir memories or simmer new traditions. Celebrating Earth Day, Chef Betty Fraser invited our camera. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Come on in. I'm Betty Fraser. And about a dozen foodies into her home to see how she cooks both sustainably and locally. We've gotten everything from Central Oregon Locavore for you. So what I have today, um, you can go and order from Nikki and Central Oregon Locavore and get for yourself. When Chef Betty began taking people on farm tours in 2010, she was shocked. Some people don't even know that potatoes grow in the ground. So every person that we take out and every person that we teach, if we teach them that one thing, then our, our job is, is accomplished. Teaching people how to shop and cook locally is her new passion, and she takes it pretty seriously. Before you cook with me this evening, um, I would like you to wash your hands here at the sink and use the hand towel. After everybody washes up, the fun begins. Okay, so who's going to be my first able assistant? Don't be shy. Chef Betty makes sure everyone plays a part in putting together the meal, even me. Doing a lovely job. Even with decades of experience stirring, chopping, and timing, she doles out basic and advanced advice in equal parts. When you zest a lemon, you want to do only the yellow part, not the, not the white pith, because it's bitter. It was Sherry Ortega's first time taking one of the classes. She says she'll be back for seconds. Far exceeded my expectations. Uh, you know, uh, certainly that she invites you into her home makes it um, much more relevant and intimate that you can actually, you know, see her in her own kitchen and creating these um, amazing healthy meals and, you know, um, you're a part of it. Another key ingredient Chef Betty uses, constant encouragement. No, come on, come on, no, no, come on. <laughs> As I always said, I've already done this. She's part chef, part cheerleader. Okay, good potato peeler. She won't keep you ravenous either. We started off the night with a fresh feta crostini. It was so good, I tried to share mine with Justin, our guy behind the camera, but he was too busy doing all the work. Don't worry though, he got one later. Next, we prep the dessert. So all we're gonna do is pop this in. It's a 350 degree oven. A few minutes later, we put the clafouti, a French cake, together. Give your batter one last whisk. The cakes went back in the oven while another volunteer finished the potato and leek soup. We will leave this up to our handy sous chef as to how much she wants to puree it. Chef Betty is well aware of how foods and people blend together. Bon appetit. We started off as strangers, but by the first course, we were friends sharing stories, a meal, and a drink. After chopping up all of these fresh veggies, we were walked through the proper way to cook pasta. No oil and lots of water. Never rinse your pasta, never. It rinses all the starch off. Chef Betty only used a couple of tablespoons to saute all of our veggies. The ingredients themselves can season the meal, depending on how they're prepared. The very little oil that we used and the, the oil steaming, and it just brought out the, the bouquet, the flavor, the color of the vegetables, and they seasoned the meal. Of course, no meal is complete without dessert. In just over two hours, we made an appetizer, soup, and pasta primavera for our main course. But Chef Betty is smart. She saved the best for last. Well, hands down, it's the cake. And I can't remember how to say the cake, but it was delicious. Mm -hmm.